Hi, I'm Francesca and this is Law of Attraction Changed My Life. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. I make new videos every single Friday and always take suggestions on the kind of things that you would like to see. Today something cropped up on my Facebook and I don't know if you've seen my Facebook page, it's Law of Attraction Changed My Life, but whenever I see something really interesting that I think people benefit from, I just share it to that page. So do go and follow, I do post some interesting shit, honestly. <laughs> so I saw this post that was about the 10 habits of all unhappy people. And I know a lot of these things are like total clickbait and then you go on there and it's like, it's rubbish. But these really resonated with me and they made me realise that every time I do these things, I'm totes unhappy. So I thought that we could go through them today, put them in a list, I'll write them down below as well so you, there's just a, a list there, you know? Um, and I think it's just really important sometimes. Like I think we know these things, but it's important just to reiterate it and remind ourselves of what they are to make sure we don't do them. The 10 habits of unhappy people, all of which can be avoided, they can. Number one, chronic complaining. You might notice that happy people don't really complain that much. Like, it's always the people that are always complaining, that are always unhappy, even if everyone else around them is happy. They always find the negative in the situation. They always find the thing to complain about. I know that sometimes, like, I am definitely guilty of this, that I like complaining just like, do I like the sound of my own voice? Like, sometimes I'm just like, oh my god, there's traffic. Just because I like to just talk about it. But I don't actually really mean it. But it's such a bad habit. Just if you find yourself complaining, just stop. Number two, being critical of yourself and others. How we talk about ourselves really shapes our self-image. There are people out there that would give anything to look like you. And likewise, there are people out there that you would give anything to look like. You just have to be happy with what you have. If you think about it, there's no one most beautiful or most intelligent or richest person, okay, maybe richest because you can put a number on that, but person in the world. You can't quantify it. And so just be happy with what you have. Um, that is the true secret of happiness, I think, is really liking yourself and learning to love yourself. I mean, don't take it too far. I had this friend called Lucy who, oh God, she's not my friend anymore, Jesus Christ. She just loved herself. And she would tell everyone about it, anyone who would listen. And that is not attractive, I don't think. But you know, we're talking about just taking it to decent self-love measures here. Number three, living beyond your means. We definitely live in a very materialistic world right now and we are constantly bombard bom I can't say bombarded, bombastic, bomb whatever, bombarded with adverts, um, subliminal or obvious. Um, they're everywhere we go and especially on Instagram and even YouTube, everywhere you look there are adverts telling you to buy this, that or the other. I think the best thing I've done recently is buy the book, <laughs> bye bye bye, um, but no you don't have to buy it, you can just listen to it on YouTube for free actually, I will leave a link down below, um, but listen to the book The Life Magic, The like, but you can listen to the book The Life Magic you can listen to it on YouTube for free. It is called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying... I feel like I'm drunk. The Life Magic... The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. And um, it's all about minimalist living and actually buying less and less and less and living with less and less and less and you'll be more and more happy because you have more time to do the things that you truly love. Um, definitely give it a listen because it is absolutely incredible and we don't need all this shit. We need to just... Leave, leave a clean, minimal lifestyle. <laughs> That's pretend Indian. We need to live a clean, minimal lifestyle and believe me, you'll be so much happier for it. You've seen hoarders. Are they happy? No. I remember someone said years ago that it doesn't matter how much money you earn, if you um, always spend more than you earn, you will always be poor. And it's true. I used to, back in the day, date quite a lot of footballers that would earn like 30, 40 grand in a week. And one of them, um, was a huge gambler and he never had any money. I mean one time I had to pay for a taxi because he literally had no money because he gambled all of his money. So it doesn't matter how much you earn, if you spend more than you earn, if you don't live within your means, you will never be rich. Number four, negative addictions. Everything is good in moderation. Alcohol, recreational drugs, whatever you want, I don't know. Maybe not, maybe not crystal meth. <laughs> That's not good in any amount. 
But yeah, everything is good in moderation. Um, it's as soon as something takes over and becomes addictive, and that could even be food, then it doesn't become good anymore. Variety is the spice of life. Life is about contrast. If you just become addicted to one particular thing and just keep going back to it, that ain't no life. Number five is regretting the past. I have a fact. Research shows that repetitive negative thoughts about decisions made in the past is often a precursor to chronic stress and depression. According to Psychology Today, there are four ways to cope with regret. Number one, learn from mistakes but don't dwell. Number two, if nothing can be changed about the situation, to let it go. And number three, oh no, there's four. Um, three, make sure not to, too much blame is being undertaken. And four, reframe the situation more positively. The past is done. There's nothing you can do about it. Your life wouldn't be how it is now. Have you ever seen the film Butterfly Effect? If you regret the past, go and watch The Butterfly Effect. It is a great movie with Ashton Kutcher and it will teach you a lot about life. <laughs> Number six, worrying about the future. Hands up if you are a worrier about the future. Me. In fact, my lady at the hospital, my maternity woman was like, don't think too far ahead. It will drive you crazy. And that's the best advice I've ever had. Living in the present is the best thing that you can do. Only a certain amount of what is in the future is up to us. Now, as creators, we understand that we can create our futures, but also there is a part that is just destiny, that is um, chance, and that isn't meant to disempower us. Um, it's meant to empower us, because remember what I said last video about events being outside of our control. We cannot control all of the events around us. We can be in a high vibration and still come across unfortunate events. And you need to just let go of things that you can't change and have the courage to change things that you can. If you think about it, we're always in the future. Like we're in the future right now, like every moment is the future. The future is only terrifying when you think about it in long term scale. If you think about, okay, I just need to get through the next day or what am I going to do this day or this week? How will I be okay this year? It ain't nothing but a thing, it's fine. Number eight is gossiping. Nothing exudes unhappiness or insecurity in somebody than gossiping about other people. I have somebody in my life that's been in my life my whole life um, that has always gossiped about people and growing up with that it has become a really normal thing for me to hear and I have had to really really train myself out of it because it is an easy go-to subject it is something that if you've been brought up with it you just think is normal and it's only now as an adult and especially like becoming a mother to somebody else I'm really really aware that I don't want to repeat those mistakes so gossiping about other people do you know what other people live their lives how they want you might be a vegan and they might not be but they might have their reasons like you don't know everything you might think you do but you don't know everything you don't know their situation you don't know their circumstances you don't know the struggles they're going through has someone got really shit hair it might be because they're going through a really rough time and they've been like pulling it out or they just don't give a shit or they've got depression you never know why people do the things they do people might look at you and be like oh my god why is she doing that let people live their lives and you live yours and trust me you'll be so much happier for it <laughs> number nine is holding grudges we talked about this two videos ago two three i can't remember we've already talked about this holding a grudge is a surefire way of being unhappy because it's like holding a rock a hot rock it's like holding a hot rock planning on throwing it at the person that you're holding a grudge against but really it's just burning you it's not hurting them it's hurting you and you need to let go and forgive and not hold grudges in order to live your best life if you would like to see that video just check out my other videos it was about two videos ago. You'll really enjoy it. We're nearly there. Number 10, expanding our problems. Oh, this is one I do all the time. I heard something somewhere that was like, 99% of your problems are imaginary and will never happen. And I have to say, it's totally true. Like it's so, so true. If you actually look every day, this is an exercise that we could do together. Today, just observe your thoughts. Don't try and change them, just observe them and observe all of the things that you're worrying about. How many of those things are actually real problems and how many of them are imaginary? I bet you a great proportion, I would say 75% are imagined. I know that I do this, I 
definitely expand my problems and there really is no need. We definitely blow our problems out of proportion and this is not helpful. This is partly due to the amygdala, which is part of our lizard brain, apparently. Um, have any of you, because I know that we're all into the same shit, have any of you done a lot of research on the amygdala? Because I would be interested to find out more about it. A couple of people have mentioned it to me and my friend sent me a, a blog post about it once. Um, should I do some stuff about the amygdala? Would you be interested in that? Maybe I should start reading up on it. I would really be interested to know if you would be interested. Anyway, those were the 10 things that make you unhappy if these are chronic habits in your life. Now, I know that we're all guilty of them. I bet we can go through that list and think, how many do I do? I think I probably do all 10 at some point or another. Um, but it's really good to actually list them, to be aware of it, to be conscious of it, and consciously and slowly try and change our thoughts. Um, sometimes you just need it pointing out like, okay, that what you're doing will make you unhappy and will make you a negative person. And just when you next do it, don't be like, oh fuck, I'm never gonna change. Just observe it and be like, okay, I remember what Fran said, let's try and not do that again. I know that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, thank you as always for watching. Um, I make new videos every Friday, so if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I'm not as usually as rambly as this. I'm pregnant, I've got baby bread. Do you wanna see this baby? She's not, she's not here yet, but she's just like this. Look, oh God, so fat. I'm in my third trimester now, Jesus Christ. But anyway, yeah, please do come back. Um, if you are on Instagram, please come on follow me. I'm at Law of Attraction Change My Life and all of my personal accounts, Instagram, Twitter, all that jazz is at Francesca Amber. Um, I do love getting your messages. Please leave your comments down below on any video ideas you have or anything you would like me to do or just tell me to shut up. I don't know, no, don't say that, don't be horrible. Anyway, I'll see you next Friday. Thanks for watching, bye.